Alright everybody, welcome back. Today is dog fence day. Yes, we are we, we are installing a dog fence, electric dog fence around our yard. And we chose to get the one that you have to dig and put in just so we can pick the area that the dog is going to be in. We we had one of the the radius ones, basically it's just a center central controller. So put it in the center, it's got a radius so far around. But what we found was it would be like in the kitchen in order to get the center right and to get it centralized and it isn't very true i mean it's we took the controllers and kind of walked the edge of the properties and to get, to get the, the beat to get the signal and it was just like right, way off i mean it's like only 20 foot from the house to the front way off to the side it, it just wasn't working for us so we decided to get with the uh the wire you know you bury in the ground all the way around the perimeter and that gives you a good definite you know, good definite line where the dog can go. Now I know a lot of you don't agree with electric fences. Some of you do, some of you don't, but the option is, do you hear my dog right now? The dog is in the house. Well yesterday the dog took off after our neighbor guy. We have a new neighbor guy, well actually the owner of the house. It used to be a rental and the man that used to live there was a drunk and hated my dog and my dog hated him also. My dog would just growl and bark at him. Well, the dog went after the owner of the house yesterday, and we can't have that. Snapped at him, and our dog has never done that. No. Ever done that. We need to do something to keep the dog in our yard. In this area, too, when, when our old house, we had plenty of yard. We had two and a half, two and a half acres of property to run out of the country. Here, we got we got people walking and bicycling all over the neighborhood. Yeah, and so we can't There's just a lot, 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 lot of foot traffic around here. The option would be to tie the dog up outside. We did that yesterday. And you hear the dog barking? Yeah, that's what happened. And it was just terrible. In the house or tied up, the dog either barks or whines. All right, what we bought was this. And we got it off of Amazon. And I ordered it yesterday morning, late, af late morning, early afternoon. And it came today, this morning. And it comes with the flags. And so 500 foot of wire. If this works, I'll link it below. If it doesn't work, you won't see it below. But what gauge wire was it? 20 gauge. It's a 20 gauge <coughs> wire. So it's a pretty, I bought a pretty good one because I didn't want it. You know, you get what you pay for. So I, I spent the extra money and bought a good one. My husband is going to, he's got an edger and he's going to go around the yard and we're going to lay this wire. So let's get busy. Now when he's done running this wire, we will show you where to install it because you have to have it a point with an electric wire. So we'll show you that after he installs the wire. And we're putting that unit in the garage, not the house. I don't know why, but he wanted to do it that way. But And that's fine with me. We'll show you that in a minute. But he has cut a line here. I don't know if you could see it. We'll watch him cut a line later. And what he's doing is he has a stick and he's carefully putting it in the, the little um, line he cut. And you got to do this carefully because you don't want to break that wire. That would be bad. Although I'm sure he could fix it if he did, but this is what he's doing now. The worst part about trying to fix the line is, is finding where it's broke. Right. So you want to do this carefully. We have found that it goes quicker with two people. If one person kind of lays it in the hole and the other person comes behind them and kind of pushes the wire down. This goes a little bit quicker this way. So I'm the, I'm the pusher and he's the sticker. <laughs> this isn't hard at all. There's nothing hard about doing this. It's just time consuming because we have to go around the whole yard doing this. But if you have an edger, it makes it a lot easier. And we'll show you that in a minute. Otherwise you're using a shovel. Yeah, you don't want to use a shovel doing that. Flat shovel be a lot of shoveling. We also tried very hard to stay away from any tree roots. We wanted to route it in a straight line so it would be easier for the dog to understand. But stay away from tree roots because who wants to dig in a tree root? Not us. Now my husband just made a really good point. You want to repeat that? We'll talk about depth of the hole and how far, how far to push it. The biggest thing is, is you know, don't, don't have to get all the way down in the hole. I mean, the hole is only in, you know, maybe half inch or an inch deep. You don't have to get all in there, but you want to get enough in there to where it stays down below the grass. 
so your mower deck won't catch it on your mower. Mower, push mower, feet, dogs, trips, kids, bicycles, across the yard, catch it, pull it back up. We're going across our driveway and we have a blacktop driveway. So we'll show you how to do that too. So stay tuned for that. All right, so here's the wire we've been working with. He rolled it out. He put it on that pole there to make it easier. And we just rolled it out so we could just, and we're to the end now. And there's the white stake, which we may, we'll bring in farther, that stake. I didn't read all the directions, but what I have read, it says don't, don't make a lot of 90 degree turns, sharp 90s. So I know just, I, I kind of made a little gradual curve instead of a full 90 degree thing. Uh, basically it's for the wire. Wire will get uh, kinked and break easier on 90 degrees and will on a slope. And that white stake we're going to put on the inside of that wire right there. Not the outside of the wire. So we will move that too. all he does is run this edger around the yard and then we're dropping the line in there and this edger he's had for a long time it's an electric edger that he probably only paid twenty dollars for somewhere I'm, I'm sure all right he's just got a piece of pipe here he's gonna lay down and probably cut next to the pipe you probably could also lay a chalk line yeah chalk line would work but this is just as fast and this is easy chalk line won't last long all the dust flying you think that is babe half an inch maybe probably half an inch what I'm gonna do is uh, now I get, once I lay the wire in there get it pushed in place I'm gonna take some uh, silicone caulking or some tar or something just throw top of it seal so it doesn't pull, it doesn't pull up back to putting wire in well it's the next day we stopped in the evening last night but we got all the entire front yard done we just got the backyard trench done you can see the trench and right now he is he is working on hooking up the wire he's gonna run it somewhere through here I don't know yet but we will find out inside the garage there's the box up there if you could see it so he's gonna attach the wires to that I think he's measuring right now but anyway you can see out here, let me show you, we made a complete circle to the box. We started right here. You can see, well, I'm falling down the hill. You can see this, the trench that starts in through here because that's where the wire is going to go in, somewhere in there. We made a complete circle around the yard, no breaks, around our entire yard, and we ended up right here which he will then take in there with the start of the wire. All right, he's got the wire cutters out and he's cutting the wire to put it up in there. Listen, after all this work we did, I certainly hope that this works. And there is a cover that goes on that. He, you know, he just has the cover off right now to work with it. Let's just uh, take this down for now. Loop. Oops, I'm sorry. There's loop and loop right there. So it goes from this terminal to that terminal. Does it matter which terminal you hook no, it on? No, it shouldn't. It's going to be a complete loop. Okay. And those unscrew and you just stick the wire yep. in. And you strip the wire back a little bit. Yep, stick the wire up under there. Probably a little bit much. Cut off about half of that. All right, show me the length. All right, so he's going to use about that length and stick it in there. This stuff still goes up under that terminal. You snug it down. Okay, that's the one. Next one is... Did you use the same hole to bring it in the house or...? I had two holes. I'll you show you. You didn't need two holes though, right? I put two holes to keep them separate. That way I know front and back. I know which one goes where. Okay, that's a good idea. At some point in the future, if I ever have to service this wire, I'll know where 
which one goes where. Okay, so those are good and tight. Okay. You get back up. Now this is just a temporary housing or holder up here. I eventually want to redo this whole wall and put drywall up here. That's another project. Okay. So, get together there. Get that all the way there. Now, you... This here just snaps on. From this box, you can turn it on and off and set the strength of the wire. Yes. So, we're going to... Now here's the power cord. It's already plugged in. Okay, there's a power cord. You have to plug it in, so, so you need an electric outlet. Yep, 110. And I got lights. Oh, thank God we have lights. And I will go get the collar. Well, it's working. Thank God it's working. We have the collar set to beep about, oh, here's the line. I don't know. Can you see the line there? Here, listen. Oh, a foot and a half, maybe, from the line we beep. Uh, we're t <laughs> I don't know, that scared me. So, I'm walking around just testing this collar to make sure it's working at every spot. And it seems to be, can you hear it? And if I step off the line and it stops beeping. So here's our line. You could see that probably better. So the collar isn't too far away. So this is a good purchase. I will have it linked in the description what we bought if you're interested in buying one of these. So now we're going to go, it came with I think 50 white flags that we're going to set as boundaries and you take one away take one or two three four away every day but we're going to take the dog around and put her on a leash show her what she can her her boundary areas all right well there you go that is how to install the electric fence and it took five hours for us to do but we did all 500 feet of it well except for eight feet we got really lucky we measured it out we had eight feet of wire left all right, if you like our video, subscribe. Come back for more, and we'll see you next time. Bye.